hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video if you're returning thank you so much for your support and if you're new thank you so much for checking my channel out my name is Vanessa I make natural hair videos including lots of DIY to help us grow strong healthy natural hair so if this kind of content interests you be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family so in today's video guys I'm going to show you how to make an amazing deep conditioning mask for dry damaged hair now if your hair is dry and damage don't worry like this conditioner is definitely the one that you need to consider doing to restore your hair back to normality because of its amazing moisturizing properties okay now we are going to need some avocados which will be the main ingredient of this recipe now avocado is actually a great source of biotin and also um, it contains b complex vitamins now to get most of the benefits from avocado is usually better if you actually eat it um, but you can also apply it topically just like we're doing here to help nourish your hair now studies have actually found that the minerals in avocado oil including potassium magnesium may actually seal the cuticle cells which can help your hair look smoother shinier and also prevent it from breaking now I'm using two small avocados here um, but you can use one big one if you got it or maybe like one small one just like I'm doing here depending on how much hair you've got so basically just use as much as you want depending on how much you want to make now I'm calling the avocado here uh, in the middle and then I'm removing the avocado from the skin and I've just popped in a blender and then we're gonna go in with our next ingredient which would be uh, egg yolk now eggs are just amazing source of protein and we all know our hair is made of a protein called keratin and that's what actually helps our hair stay strong and prevent it from breaking now the egg yolk may especially be useful to moisturize the hair that appears kind of dry now the yolk can be superfood for your hair due to its unique combination of vitamins uh, including vitamin A, E, biotin and folate and these are ingredients that researchers have actually linked to hair growth and healthy hair. Now the next ingredient that we're going to go in with will be some castor oil. Now castor oil is just really good because it helps make the root of our hair stronger, prevent a hair fall and also has the ability to trigger and stimulate hair growth from dormant follicles. So consider using castor oil guys if you're not already. Now the next ingredient will be some honey now I'm using Claire honey here but you can get like organic honey um you know the best one like manuka honey those are just really good ones but I'm just using what I had honey is also great for natural hair because it can promote hair growth it helps retain moisture restore nutrients to the hair and scalp and also prevents or elevates uh, inflammatory uh, skin conditions so it's actually amazing for you know promoting a healthy scalp now the next one or, or the final one uh, that we're going to need will be some olive oil now olive oil is actually amazing as well because it moisturizes your hair reduces scalp irritation promotes hair growth and essentially it's just it's just good all around now I'm just putting all of that together and then I went ahead and blended it now during the blending process guys you have to add some water because I found that the teeth of my blender was not getting through easily so you need to add water gradually just to aid the blending process but that's basically what I ended up with a nice smooth consistency now we are actually ready to apply this to our hair I'm starting on wash hair here guys I washed my hair like a week ago um, and condition it actually but it just feels dry and I feel like I want to give it a little bit more moisture so um, yeah so start on wash hair pretty much so I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the twist that I already have I always have my hair in twist guys I know it's really boring but it's just it's just easier for me um, especially given I make lots of vid or videos for you guys so it's just easier for me so I'm just going to undo them twist and then uh, finger detangle a little bit just to you know make it easier to work with and then I'm gonna go ahead with some water okay now because the dip conditioner that we just made is a little bit thick in consistency 
I just thought it was better to just wet the hair a little bit just to make it easier to uh, to apply the deep conditioner and also to allow easy distribution throughout the hair so I just wet it a little bit not too much just to get the hair damp a little bit and then I'm now going to go ahead with the uh, conditioner and just apply that for my roots and then work my way down to my ends now don't worry about scalp build up you know I know you know when you're applying products to your hair sometimes you might just be a bit worried about having to have build-ups i do sometimes as well but don't worry about this one because when you wash it all out it will all come out okay nothing will remain on your scalp and also all of the amazing properties that these ingredients have you don't want to miss out on that so make sure you apply it to the scalp you massage that in just so you can nourish your scalp nourish your follicles and promote that hair growth okay our hair grows from our scalp so you if you are to do anything to it to help the growing process it will be actually directly applying it to it um so once i do that guys i'm just massaging it that to the entire entirety of my hair and then i'm working my way to my ends focus on your ends as well because it's the driest and oldest part of your hair you want to make sure that you moisturize it as much as you can to be able to retain length now once i've finished doing that i'm now going ahead and twisting the whole thing and i'm going to do a small bantu knot just to retain the moisture in that part of my hair that i've already done while i'm working on the on the other parts um so basically just to prevent it from drying out as i'm working on the other parts of my hair um so i'm just going to go ahead now and repeat that for pretty much the rest of my hair and then um yeah Somebody asked in my last video whether I could do a length check and I thought yeah why not so this is it guys this is basically a quick length check on my hair um, it is pretty much waist length at the moment um, I'm not so worried about length to be honest anymore I'm more worried about you know keeping my hair strong and healthy oh I hope that you that requested this you are actually watching so you can see where my hair is at um, so yeah, this is this is pretty much it guys. My hair is waist length. Um, so Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead now and continue applying the rest of the uh, Conditioner to my hair and then um, once I'm, I'm finished doing that guys I will now place a plastic bag or a heat cap if you got one um, to my hair and just you know allow heat to penetrate the hair and also for the hair to absorb 
all of the goodness of you know of this deep conditioner so basically all the vitamins and basically everything that's nice in it so if you got a heat cap this is even better now you can deep condition overnight if you want to um actually consider doing it doing this overnight but then you know i'll just thought about my husband probably not liking it so yeah but you can deep condition overnight guys this is all natural ingredients so it's not going to damage your hair in any way shape or form okay so don't worry about it i left mine in for about two hours and and then i decided to just go ahead and wash it like i said you can leave it overnight if you want to so within those two hours guys i decided to work out i try to work out every day so yeah i did my workout and this is basically why i look slightly different um so i just thought i would come on here and show you what it looks like two hours later now it looks very very i mean my hair did feel really really soft really moisturized at this point um but i was just ready to just go and have a shower you know after working out and just wash everything off together so yeah this is basically what it looks like really nice and soft really moisturizing um i mean really moisturized so i'm now going to take down those bantu knots so i can get in the shower and then i'm going to show you what my hair looks like after um i finish washing it Okay guys this is what my hair looks like um, very very nice and shiny very moisturized obviously you can't feel it but it felt really really good and i was really really happy with the final result um so this is definitely one of the the conditioners i mean one of my favorite dip conditioners because it's just really nourishing for your hair and also revives your hair and also keep it you know moisturized for quite some time so it's really really good i do hope that you try this out and if you do that you know if you do try it i do hope you like it and don't forget to leave me a comment as well in the comment section just let me know what you think if you've got any questions i'm usually in my comment section guys i can answer all of them um so i just thought i would take down one twist just to show you what it looked like how soft and moisturized my hair was and yeah that's pretty much it i was really really happy with this um so this is it for me today guys i hope you've enjoyed watching the video as always if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video which will be very soon so thank you so much again and i'll catch you next time bye